Okay, thank you for coming to this video. I'm so sorry that it's very unstructured, I know. But I talk about a lot of points and I basically address everything that has to do with my cheek piercing, so enjoy. Also, you're gonna think I'm disgusting after this video. Sorry. Hey guys, it's Linsor. So you wanna know more about cheek piercings? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to save you from your unknowledge. <laughs> <laughs> to be 100% honest, the reason I'm doing so many cheek piercing videos is because I feel like I want to take them out soon. <laughs> so I'm kind of milking it, okay? I'm sorry. I've had them for such a long time. I think I have my cheek piercings for six years now. I'm getting real tired of always having them. I love changing up my looks, but they kind of keep me like confined. I'd so much rather have like a nose piercing. I want to do more piercings in my ears. I just, I'm so tired of them always being there. I've been kind of hesitant to tell people or you guys on the internet because I know that everybody's going to be like, because I went through that with my whole emo face and everything and like people just ball out which I am so thankful for that you even care about my fucking face so if you're here to see if I can squirt water through my piercings that's what we're gonna do right now I already have a video where I do this but that video sucks so this is my new one I still live at home <laughs> let's move inside <laughs> Old times, old times, okay. Gotta take a sip first. Let's see. I've forgotten the whole first part of this video. I kinda need to take them out first. Oh my God, okay. So first curiosity, how do they look like on the inside? And I feel like this is like what everybody stares at all the time. Like everybody always like. And elderly are horrified, so. They are just like a regular piercing on the inside. They don't go through like a lot of people think. <laughs> So let's take them out. Oh. Okay, here we go. It's out. And the next one. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I'm one of the few people who have had my cheek piercings for such a long time because usually people get annoyed that they never really heal. So I did a video where I replaced my cheek piercing jewelry to earrings where they started bleeding but it's like they're like always a little bit infected i think mine look pretty nice <laughs> i'm gonna hit so much shit for saying that oh i can't do that otherwise Okay, it felt kind of disgusting to swallow that water. Not gonna lie. Not even if I push the water, will it do that? No. Okay, thank you everybody for coming who was there for that. I can't, I can't. I wish I could, that would be such a good party trick. I would do it all the time. I also wanna show you something and that is how it looks like on the inside. Huh? Pretty gross, right? <laughs> I don't know why I'm proud of this. Location is moved. Let's talk about some facts you want to know. No, arimasen, they do never fully heal. Like that's the thing with cheek piercing, they never heal. One thing I do get on my cheek piercings is this kind of like sit, which is so weird. And I've had so many people DM me about this, that they have this too, but it's just like some kind of pus thing created around them. I've popped it on camera, like here you go. <laughs> Cause I love you guys. Do I think that they will leave scars? Yes, I will never ever not have dimples, which is kind of what I wanted when I did them. So you guys know this. When I was younger. I used to have much more of a round fizz and I was like, I hit this fizz. Let's change it. So I did a lot of piercings, but these are like the most prominent. I also have scars from my snake bites there and there. I can also feel like I did have a really big septum and I can feel it really clearly. Do I regret doing my cheek piercings? I mean, no. I feel like it's stupid to regret anything I've ever done. So I'm not regretting them. Of course, it would create a lot less hassle for me now. Also, I would not have my YouTube channel in the way I have now if I wouldn't have had them. <laughs> Did it hurt to get them pierced? 
this is like the most common question and actually I think they were less painful or they were one of the least painful. The most painful one was when I did my ear in the cartilage here and I fainted and it was blood everywhere and he just sucked so I don't know how he was working as a piercer but that was the worst. I'm getting a little bit scared because I'm not having them in and they like heal like an hour 20 minutes they'll heal back up. How often do you take them off? Eh, never. This is gonna be hell to put back in. So have you ever had an infection? I haven't I think of course I've had an infection, but I've never had like a really bad one I've had bad infections when I've had my lip piercings where my entire lip was just like super swollen for like a year But these are just those pimple things. I don't even know what they're called like ugh. And I got them straight when I was 18 like that was the first thing because I was at the piercers all the time It was piercings a lot I wanted to get like hip piercings. I don't know if you guys even know what that is, but back in the day that was really popping. So happy I did not do that. I asked on Instagram and I'm like, do you have any questions for me about my cheek piercings? Somebody's like, nah. <laughs> Thank you. How do I put makeup on them? Nowadays, they've been kind of red and it doesn't have to do with the earring video It's just like this last year. I've just been like so annoyed with them So I don't really take care of them So I put makeup around it because it's been red You kind of just put it there and then you like clean the ball and they look fine because you can't just go around Which you would have to if you just got them pierced for like the first year and they do not smell Thank God This is one thing because when you stretch your ears it kind of smells when you're like doing them big. Cheek piercings and like regular piercings do not smell unless you are trying to like get them larger, I guess. Me encanta tu personalidad, da yo forma de sos so also something I think I need to address about this, I am, I don't know, I feel like it's wrong of me to say that don't get them. But if you guys like watch me and think that I suit them and you want to get them too, because sometimes I see you guys DM me that and I'm like, but if you want to do it, of course you can do it. I would never recommend this piercing. Like, get all other piercings, but this one is going to be the worst. So what my plan is for when I'm go actually going to take them out is that I'm going to go to a plastic surgeon and I'm going to go and get also laser. Like, I'm going to get rid of everything. I want nobody to see that I've had cheek piercings. I want to keep having dimples because I think it's cute. I'm used to seeing myself like that now. So I want to keep that. But I do not want it to look like I've had cheek piercings. In my opinion, that is the worst look ever. I hate when you can see that somebody has had piercings. <coughs> I recommend you to not get them, okay? The more I'm talking about this, just do not get cheek piercings. Like, there's so many piercings, don't get these ones. Okay, here we go. I've cleaned the piercings. Let's put them back in. I don't even know if it's gonna be possible now. So this is actually a thing that I have to do before I do this. Every time I've had them out for this long, I need to like pierce through the healing flesh. Okay, if this is monetized, I swear to God, I can walk on water. Okay, like this. I can feel like there's liquid coming out. <laughs> I have no shell, do I? Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. Still, I didn't edit it out, did I? Okay, this one is bad. Oh. After that, I need to locate where the f hole is because it's really weird at the back there. <laughs> if I can do this with no mirror, I am like the f***ing champion. Okay. I need a mirror. Okay, here we go. Ow. I know you guys are cringing at this. I am too. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. CPS would already be here if this were children. Okay, we have one in. That was horrific, horrifying, slaying, deadly. Hate it. Let's do the next one. I hope this one isn't as bad because this seems to be my worst one. Night. Okay, that was easy. I've always thought it was crazy. Is that they, <laughs> this is like the, the worst thing to do after taking them out, but that they don't like hurt. It doesn't hurt. And you can't bite them when you eat food. Like, they don't ever touch. I think I've, I don't even ever think I've ever bitten them once I've had food, ever. I've never. And my dentist always like, as soon as she sees me, she's like, or the new dentist, like, okay, you have to take piercings. I have to see if they damaged your teeth. And I'm there, I have my kids' sunglasses on because I can't take the light. And I'm like, I know they haven't. 
but they check and then they're surprised that they do not touch my teeth but they don't and it never will so it won't ruin your teeth i think i've talked about this for way too long now i hope i answered every single question everyone ever had as soon as i send someone on town and they ask me about them this is the video i'm going to send you please subscribe <laughs> whoever you are thank you guys for your questions i love you so much au revoir arigato konnichiwa bye